All right guys, how you doing? It's Rubia, hope you're all well. So in this video, I just wanted to share some tones and some playing. There's no real purpose of this video other than the fact that I'd set my pedal board up and got my tones and it's just feeling really good. It's sounding really good in the room. So I wanted to kind of just jam out and I figured I may as well film it and share it on YouTube. Not only that, the cab sounds that I've got with the mics, everything's sounding great. You know how if some of you do mic in cabs and if you're doing it on your own and you, you haven't got anyone to reference against to let you know where to move the mics, there's a lot of back and forth between the control room and the live room and making sure it sounds good. And sometimes you just kind of make do. You're like, yeah, that sounds good enough. I can fix it in post, that kind of situation. However, in, th in this situation, I've mic'd things up and they're sounding really good. And it's also worth mentioning that I've got a different cab as well and I'm using an extra microphone, but everything together is sounding and feeling great. So I figured I would make this video and just share the tones and all that kind of stuff. Really quickly, the rig is my VX Mark II Kraken stereo rig. So I've got two Krakens behind me, as you can see, uh, and two cabs. The cab on top is uh, the cab that I've told with for years. It's got a V30 in it and a G12H65. And then the bottom cab is a new cab from Victory, and it's got two Alnico Gold, Celestian Alnico Gold speakers in, which I hadn't heard up until recently working on the new hand-wired MK Overdrive amplifier. And I was like, wow, this speaker sounds amazing. So I asked if I could get a cab loaded in with two. So we've got the, the Alnico Gold on the bottom and then the V30 G12H65 combo on the top. The extra mic I'm using is an NTR ribbon. I've got that on the G12H65 near the center of the cone. I'm using an SM7B on the V30 just over the blue, uh, glue glob that Nolly recommends for good miking of cabs. And then I've got a 57 on the Alnico Gold in a similar position to the SM7 just over that glue blob and basically trying to blend everything together. You've got hard pan of the SM7 and the 57 for the stereo image, because it's a stereo rig. And then the NTR is up the middle, not very loud in comparison to the other two, but just enough to add a bit of weight to everything. And I was listening back and thinking, you know, this sounds nice. It sounds full. I'm getting uh, not overly fizzy tones from distortions and fuzz, which I like to use. And overall, everything just sounds really enjoyable. So that's the rig. On the floor, I've got the gig rig, uh, strife Vector situation. However, I'm using the new Big Sky MX, which is awesome as I've replaced my beloved Big Sky with it, but it's definitely an upgrade. And then I've got the Blues Driver BD2, which is new to the board, but it sounds fantastic. I've added the Germanium Fuzz back on the board, which I used to use in Tosca all the time, and it sounds immense. And I've also got the Horizon Devices Nano Attack for when I'm using high gain to tighten everything up and actually works for clearing out some of the muff, uh, like flubby low end in fuzz as well. Anyway, not to get too geeky because I've already talked for long enough. This video is just tones, me jamming out and I really hope you enjoy some of the tones that I'm sharing in this video.